With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone. So we are given with a question which says a 100 microfarad capacitor is charged to a potential difference of 24 volt. It is connected to an uncharged capacitor having capacitance value 20 microfarad. What will be the new potential difference across 100 microfarad capacitor? So basically uh, from the given diagram we can see uh, we have two capacitor. One is having a capacitance of 100 microfarad and another is having a capacitance of 20 microfarad. So uh, initially we, ha uh, we can clearly see uh, when it is uh, having a capacitance of 100 microfarad so it is charged to a potential difference of 24 volt. Therefore, we can say the charge that has been developed on capacitor, let's say this is our capacitor 1 and this is our capacitor 2. So, uh, we can say the charge that has been developed on 1 will be given by the formula C into V. So, from here we can see uh, capacitance value is given as 100 microfarad into uh, potential difference is 24. So, we can write this as uh, 2400 microfarad. Uh, 2400 micro coulomb will be the value of charge that has been developed on this capacitor. Now, uh, in the second scenario, it's been uh, said that uncharged capacitor of value 20 microfarad is connected. So, as we can see, 20 microfarad is connected to 100 microfarad. So, what will happen is the charge will start accumulating from uh, capacitor 1 to capacitor 2. And in this case, uh, we can say, let's suppose the charge uh, developed on capacitor 1 will be, let's say, Q1. And charge developed at capacitor will be Q2. When uh, we can say when the potential of both the capacitor, or we can say the potential difference across both the capacitor when becomes same, so the charge accumulation will, will stop. And at that moment, we are considering that the charge that has been developed on uh, capacitor 1 is Q1 and Q uh, on 2 is Q2. So we can write, uh, so that is the important condition, we can write charge accumulation will stop when potential difference across capacitor 1 will be equal to potential difference across capacitor 2. So from here we can write, uh, this can be written as, again by using the formula Q equals to CV, uh, we can write this as Q1 upon C1 and that will be equals to Q2 upon C2. Alright, so we have with us the value of C1 and C2. Uh, we have with us the value of uh, Q1. That is, uh, we can say Q1 will be nothing but it can be seen that uh, we can write here the value Q1 will be equals to the total charge that has been developed minus of Q2. So if we substitute uh, this value uh, in the above equation, so we can get Therefore, instead of Q1, we can write Q minus of Q2 dividing by C1. That is capacitance value of 1, it is 100 microfarad. So it is 100 and that is equals to Q2 upon C2 is given as 20 microfarad. So on further simplification, we can say uh, this can be written as the value of Q we have calculated that is total charge. Uh, or we can say it has to be Q1 over here. So Q1, it, we have calculated it as 2400 microfarad. So we can say 2400 minus Q2 upon 5 will be equals to Q2. Therefore, uh, we can say the value of Q2 comes out to be uh, 400 micro coulomb. So this much amount of charge will be accumulated on this capacitor 2. So, uh, we are interested in finding the potential across capacitor uh, when that is the new potential difference across capacitor of 100 microfarad. So, after the charge has been transferred to Q2, therefore, we first we can see now, therefore, the new charge that has been developed, so we can write, therefore, new charge on capacitor 1 will be equals to. Uh, we can write this as so that will be equals to Q1 that is a charge is Q1 and here it can be written as C into V. So Q1 uh, we can 
get from this equation so we can write uh, if you substitute the value of 400 over here and it is 2400 so it comes out to be 2000 therefore we can write 2000 micro uh, micro coulomb and into here it is 100 into v so finally the result of v we are getting it as to be 20 volt so this much uh, potential difference will be developed on 100 microfarad charge after the uh, equilibrium condition that is the potential has become same so now from here we can say uh, here we can give the reason also we have used the equation that is q1 is equals to q1 minus of q2 all right so i hope you have understood the concept and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.